as a person not from these lands, you know, my ancestors uh, removed the people from this, this territory, from this river. And, uh, and the hope and the, the idea behind this trip is to bring the people back to the water, back to the river, to travel these lands, to harvest the medicine, to harvest the fish, and to uh, have that presence here on the water again. So uh, this is the first trip of hopefully many of traveling down the river with Shoshone people with the Tukadeka and uh, uh, to get back on the water to, to learn from this place again, to reconnect and to make the hills and the trees and the fish happy to see the people on the water again. So for me it's a real honor to see that happening here with some youth, with some elders and with people who are not from here to all come together to, uh, uh, to honor this river and ourselves of coming back together here uh, uh, in unity. This place is really important to me, um, the whole Salmon River Basin. It's got all of these places and stories with it. And the Middle Fork, um, as I've grown up, has, doesn't have a lot of very distinct family stories in it for me, but um, the other tributaries do. And so I was thinking about that in respect to, uh, because of that story missing here with myself, that probably largely within our um, community back home, that story is probably also missing. And so I've been spending some time coming down the river with the um, tribe's Fish and Wildlife Department. And we've been talking about this idea that um, some of the people who are interested in this place and have knowledge about this place, they're getting older now. And because they're getting older now, um, we need to make sure that what they know gets go passed on to the next generations. We need to have that legacy of uh, that place of who we are here. Because there's been too many generations that we have not lived here. Uh, been over a hundred years now that we haven't been in this place and so we want to come back to it and be here again and that's what we're trying to do here um, we're using some tools of science to, to use to uh, understand some of our past history in this place so we're looking at freshwater mussels as one um, way to, to do that and, and to reconnect this holistic idea rather than just thinking about the salmon we're trying to think about this ecosystem so we're coming back into this place that way, uh, more the way that we would think about things. And so um, and parts of that also is not just the science, but we also want to want to um, bring people back to the culture, the past culture, also making that culture present again to today and then looking at it in the future. And so we've been stopping at these cultural sites as we're going down the river. So we're doing science and we're looking at cultural sites. And a lot of these cultural sites are pictographs. And so we're looking at this art. Um, so when we're coming down the river, we're talking about art too, so songs and singing, uh, painting, um, the, the art that's going on on the walls, and the storytelling. And so we're trying to bring all of those elements together, and that's basically talking about the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual parts about who we are, and how we, how we pass that, that legacy on to the future. And so we're trying to do it in that respectful order, um, bringing back that, that biniwap, that tradition, and, that legacy and, and passing that on to our children. Uh, my name's Tim Haskett. I'm a member of the Shoshone Bannock Tribes. I work for the Forest Service as an archaeology technician. And I got invited on this uh, river trip and we're uh, floating the river trying to revitalize and show a presence. Um, so this um, is one of our Aboriginal areas, territories. Um, this is the land of the, the Duca Dica, um, the sheep eaters. Um, they were, you know, removed from the area, um, we're coming back and showing our presence here. Alright, here, kiss the fish. Alright, kiss the fish. <laughs> <laughs> get it! Get it! Get it! Oh, oh, man. Man.